Warning, the following audio transmission is based on theory and is intended for entertainment purposes only. Its Doomsday and its affiliates will not be held liable for anything your dumbass does. Listener discretion is advised. Welcome everybody to It's Doomsday Podcast. Today is December 16th. Time is 4.48 p.m. I am currently sitting in the studio by myself. Well, because I had some work to do. And I felt like I owed you guys an update. So, I've been getting some emails. I've been getting some questions lately. Kind of in the neighborhood of, hey, where have you been? What's going on with the show? Where's Al? Where's Jake? Where's Safe Prep? Whatever happened to that crazy guy from Scotland you were reporting with? Well, I figured I would chime you guys in on some updates and let you know what's going on and what future things are coming this month and coming for the new year and things like that. So first, let me start with this. Guys, I have recently been moved to day shift. So end of October, I got moved two days at work. And this is a blessing um, and will give me more time to do things and more time to schedule recording and whatnot. However, with the ability to do more recording also came the ability to get the homestead more prepped up for the winter. So I took a lot of the free time I've had lately and have been utilizing it to get things ready around the property, get things cleaned up around the property, get ready for the holidays and winterize different things around the house it's it's there's just been a lot i've been utilizing free time for plus it's hunting season so that also played a factor into me not making it down to the studio as well and also the studio itself not being at my home being that i have to physically get in the vehicle and drive to a separate location in order to sit down and do recording has became semi-problematic It's not like I get an idea for a show and I can just run out to the computer and start recording. I physically have to get in the car, start the engine, drive down the road, and go to a total different physical location in order to do this. And I'm telling you what, sometimes at the end of the day when I have that motivation to do a show, I don't have the motivation to drive. So one of my new projects that I've been working on lately is to try to bring the studio to the house, to try to get things organized at home so I can bring home the studio equipment and start recording from the house again. Right now, I am not prepared for this. That is going to be some time in the works here for me to get that going. Now, moving on from that and why I've sucked so bad, let me tell you what, we still got episodes that are coming out from Prepper Camp in September. So the next handful of episodes that are going to drop are going to be from Prepper Camp in September. That's how far behind we are. That's how far behind I am with the show. And I don't want anybody to think that I've given up or that I've quit or, or anything like that. It has just been a very busy time. Also, I just started a secondary job working one extra day a week um, doing the EMT stuff that I was telling you guys about that I was trying to get into and trying to do. So... I wanted to continue doing something in the realm of medical, realm of the EMT world, uh, mainly to keep up with training, mainly to get more training, and to gain further knowledge. That way, if shit ever hits the fan, I will be as prepared as I can be with as much medical knowledge that I can gain. And the only way you're going to get more knowledge and more training is to physically go out there and do the work, right? And you're not going to keep up with training if you don't have a job doing it. I don't care what anybody says. Very few people have that motivation to sit down on their day off and start studying up on stuff. Like, no, you have to be doing it. That's that's all it is, period. So let's tear into the second part of this that I want to talk about of my co-host and where everybody's at. So we're just going to take safe prep off the table real quick here. 
Safe Prep is supposed to be recording with me today. Safe Prep is still on board with everything. He is good to go, so there's not much to talk about there in that aspect. Um, he's still doing his thing, you know, growing over on the TikTok, still doing his preparedness content. He's doing good. Um, as far as Jake goes, I am in contact with Jake. We haven't discussed the show recently. Whenever I went on nights, it threw a wrench in the gears with the lives, and I don't know what the plan of attack is going to be from here on out, especially with the move. I do have to reach out to Jake and ask him if it's something – that he even wants to continue because I basically, whenever I went back to work and I started working the nights, I fell off the face of the earth. I still talk to him, but we have not spoke on, hey, are we going to continue to do the show? Are we going to continue to do these lives? Like, what's the plan here? Um, so I do got to sit down and have a conversation and see if this is something he's still even interested in doing. Uh, as far as Ba goes, I still have contact with Bob. Still got things going on there. However, me and Ba struggled to maintain a recording schedule as it was with him being in Scotland and him being on a swing shift and me being here and working nights. It, it just really, it's really hard to keep a show together as it is, let alone when you have somebody that's a co-host that's all the way on the other side of the world and works a swing shift. So I'm going to get with Ba and see if he doesn't want to come on from time to time. If he still wants to do the world news thing, whatever he's wanting to do, I'd like to try to make that happen, uh, if if possible. I still have, I'm still in contact with him, still in communication with him. All right, now let's move on to Al. You guys know I love Al to death. Uh, Al has just kind of fell off the face of the earth. Um, he is okay. He's alive. He's he's breathing, um, happy and healthy as far as I know. Uh, I I and I don't know what's going on. Um, Al has cut communications with everybody and has cut ties with social media and has not been around. I've, uh, I've reached out. Other people have reached out. And the best we got is he is okay. He's a, there's nothing wrong. I don't know if Al just had enough of social media and said, you know what, I'm done for now. Like, I don't really know. And I'm not going to uh, jump to a conclusion and make a judgment without speaking to him. But as far as I know, as of right now, Al is not returning to social media, and if he is, I don't know of it. So we will see what happens with Al. Al knows he's more than welcome to call me. If Al, if you're out there listening, call me. You know, you're more than welcome to. You've got my number, I hope, still. I've reached out. He has mine, hopefully, still. Uh, and that's it. That's Those are the updates of what's going on with It's Doomsday Podcast right now. Guys, I have emails to respond to, and I've got topic suggestions to respond to. There's a lot of things in the realm of, of future plans for the show that need to start coming to fruition now. And I am trying my damnedest to find not necessarily the time, but the motivation. To have that motivation to sit down and do the research for an episode and, and write out the script for an episode. You know, write out the talking points and the footnotes and get all this together and I just I have not been finding the motivation for it I do think once I have a studio at home again it'll be a little bit easier to do that because for a while when I wasn't working and I was just doing the show anytime I would get a random hair up my ass and I would think about something I could just take a ride on down to the studio sit in front of this computer do my research take my notes call up whoever hey let's do this episode Bam, bam, good to go, get it edited and get it up. Now, I'm sitting here finding myself doing research on the phone and emailing myself links to save notes and, you know, doing research that way and then finally making it to the point where I could sit down and compile this and then, oh, half my links aren't working or one's gone or this web page is now unavailable. Plus, there's also been the big issue of there's been so much going on in the media lately. Every time I think, man, I'd like to cover that on the show, something overtakes it the next day. But I'm going to tell you what, for you guys out there that listen to its Doomsday Podcast, this is a show that does not have an expiration date. This show does not expire. Because I'm going to tell you what, right now, we are killing it with ReadyWise referrals. We haven't put out a new episode since October and I get notifications every week of new referrals. P- 
people are coming in, listening to the show, downloading the show, utilizing our code that's really only advertised in the show, right? So we're getting new listeners all the time. And the reason why I say the show will not expire is this. People are going back and saying, hey, I want to learn about an EMP or I want to learn how to survive the winter or I want to learn about bug out bags. And they're going back and they're finding these episodes and they're becoming new listeners. That stuff's not expiring. And then what I find to be so crazy, and this is something that I didn't realize this up, up until now, this show is typically about a year to two ahead of what's going on in the world, okay? So right now, there's all this, there's all this talk in the media right now about the prince and what he's got going on and how he dodged his deposition and everything else. And there's a lot of talk now about how there's money tied back to certain labs and stuff like that and how this is all coming for, to fruition. We talked about this shit two years ago, right? So that's what I'm saying. This show will not have an expiration date. If it's something we've covered, it's going to come back later in the media. If it's something somebody wants to know about prepping and survival, they're going to go back and they're going to find those shows because those episodes are still relevant for the new prepper, the new person that's coming in. So this show does not have an expiration date. So in order to just kind of wrap this up, and to not just drool on forever and make this an hour-long episode. I do want to hit a few more key points here. So key point one, prep stock is live. The website's live. The ticket website's live. There's two, just two early bird tickets left in my Clapper account for you guys to go buy. These are the only tickets that are coming with the free breakfast, and these are the cheapest the tickets are going to be for the year. If you want more information about PrepStock, go to PrepStock.net. That is where you can find out all the information about the event, where it's being held, everything about it. And if you want to just be like, hey, I know everything there is to know about PrepStock. I just want my tickets. You're going to go to PrepStock2024.TicketLeap.com, and there you'll be able to get your tickets. Now, all the information is going to be at PrepStock.net, and just your tickets are going to be at the... uh, prepstock2024.ticketleap.com. All right, so that's where you can get those at. Next thing coming up is, guys, I am still trying to determine whether or not I'm going to do prepper camp next year. I'd like to think that I am. I'm just trying to kind of work it out in my brain right now if it is something that I do want to do. We did prepper camp last year. We did prepper camp the year before. It's a good event. I like going. Also, I am in the works right now of trying to make Thrive Life happen. The the Hive Life Thrive or Hive Life Festival, okay, out in Sevierville, Tennessee. Sevierville, Tennessee. Uh, you guys have heard me talk about this with B Man J. I'm trying to make it to this event as well. So there's a lot in the works right now of things that are just going on. All right, and I'm I'm really trying to dial this all in and get a handle on everything. And you guys know how if you guys have listened to the show, you know how I am. I throw the updates out there as soon as they come in. So all I could say now is just just hang out and wait because next year there's a lot coming. Things are going to get crazy. We're going to be doing a lot more like boots on the ground type stuff. I'm going to be doing a lot more in the realm of social media stuff. And I encourage you guys, I seriously encourage you guys to start sharing this show out with your friends, with your family, put it on the car while you're driving down the road, if it's a topic you think that they might be interested in. And I mean, not that you guys aren't doing it now, but I always encourage people to keep going and doing this, guys. If there's a topic you want to suggest for a show, or if you want to reach out, or if you want to come on the show and talk about something, just email us. It's doomsdaypodcast at gmail.com. One more time, it's doomsdaypodcast at gmail.com. Once again, thanks for listening. Hit that follow button if you're not following. And leave us a review. Leave us a comment wherever you listen. We'll see you guys out there. is an emergency action message. At approximately 1 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time, Nora is tracking 15 ICBM nuclear missiles inbound to the following cities. 
Orlando, Miami, Pittsburgh, Dover, Newark, Richland, Philadelphia, New York City, Baltimore, Los Angeles, Las Vegas, Boston, Seattle, Detroit. This is an extremely deadly situation. Stay tuned, the next emergency message will be a presidential address.